scoot up the PC, my heart's in a quake. Sweaty palms gripped in the mouse like a snake. Buttons mashed without a clue. In this pixel world, I'm gaming like a noob. Hello, and welcome to the channel Gaming Like a Noob. I'm the noob, and I call myself Sansomi. And if you're subscribed to the channel, I say thank you very much. And if you're not, I say please do, it will help me out a lot. Now, it's Tuesday, so it's the Welling United save. And we're going to start out this episode with a game against Sheffield United. Now, I would like to rest a couple of players because we are going to play against uh, Manchester United in the Carabao Cup the next game and it's only three days in between there so we're going to throw in Charlie Wiggett who hasn't played in a long while and I think we're going to start Jackson Jones of the right there and uh, what else where it is Dominic let's put him up like that he can play, but um, yeah, I think I want to rest Tanju Senjin, actually. So let's do like that and uh, let Ronnie Edwards start today as well. As well. We'll, Jake Fisher, we'll let him start as well. But I think we're going to rest Lukic and let Steve Clay start today. So... Um, yeah, and I guess Lukic is, however tired Steve Clay is after the first half, I think Oscar Thorne and Lukic is going to be making the change. So both of them has, have only played 45 minutes in before the game against um, Manchester United in that cup game. And I think we're going to try to put in... A Ritz for Rodwell Grant at halftime as well. So both of them has played only one half so that they'll hopefully be uh, fresh and ready. Anyway, we're going to play like this. It's a lot of reserve, so it uh, might not go to plans, but uh, yeah, we need to do something. We need to try and get I mean, if we can, if we can go beat out Manchester United in the Carabao Cup, that would be a dream come true. Going to the semi-finals there, and yeah, and it is of course a way to try and get to to the Europe, to get out and play in the European competitions. I really don't care which European competition. I just want to be a part of the European competitions. And, um, yeah. Uh, one nil for Sheffield United. Well, it was expected, to be honest. Uh, we do play with a lot of reserve players today. And, uh, of course, I know that they are not as good as uh, my first team players. <clears throat> So, yeah, it's going to be problematic today. Um, I'm going to shout. I'm going to demand more from my players. Um, this is unfortunate, of course, but, uh, yeah. Um, as I said, I want to... I want to hope to get... I mean, winning a trophy like the Carabao Cup would be... A great start in getting the players to get some winning mentality. Um, I know that it's um, it's of course going to be extremely hard to even get to the final. We're going to be struggling just to beat Manchester United, and uh, then winning the semi-finals will of course be uh, an extremely hard task to try and do if we can. So we know that this is going to be very hard and uh, most likely we will um, 
not be participating after uh, next game we will be out of the Carabao Cup most likely I would say because you never know United might be playing with some youngsters and stuff and we might be a bit lucky I mean we did draw against them last time if I don't remember incorrectly we did draw against them last time 1-1 I think it was so I mean we are not completely out of it oh look at that good save by Harkin in the first situation and then they take over completely now which players is it that I want to rest I want to rest Oscar Thorne I want to... Then I don't... Yeah, Rod will grant. After that, I don't think I care about resting anybody. It's going to be com pretty much a, a completely different team against Manchester United with hopefully Pena and Brionis back in the defence. Uh, so, um, yeah. But Rod will grant. I want to take him off at half-time. And put in um, Erazzi. And of course we want to take out um, Oscar Thorne and put Lukic in. And while we're there we will most likely take out Ronnie Edwards. And that will just have to be it. 3-0 to Sheffield United. I do, do not believe we can come back from this. Um... I don't think we have what it takes. Look at this. They just keep coming. <laughs> well, well. Oof. Close to 4-0 there. Can't the first half be over? This is um, embarrassing. Um... Unless it's it's over there, and I think I'm going to do all three changes at once. We're going to do like that. We're going to do like that, and we're going to do like that, and of course do like that. There we go, and then into the dressing room, and uh, thresh my arms. Yeah, seems like a couple of players did get motivated. We're just going to have to see. So three changes, uh, mostly because I wanted to rest a couple of players, to be honest. I wanted um, Thorn to be rested, Goodwill Grant to be rested, and of course we did take out Ronnie Edwards, who most likely will be a player that I will... I'm trying to get rid of him already and I think I should have accepted the 1.2 that I did get for him but we there's still chance to get rid of him I'm hoping if I get a new a new bid for somewhere around 1.2 I think around one a million I will sell him don't uh, I'm not going to be holding on to that player because um, things are not going great when he plays Oh, did you have to touch that? We could have gotten a corner out of that if you'd let it be. Lukic, god dang it. Oh, Jones goes down, but Lukic picks up the ball. Lukic, free on goal. Oh, come on. That's a poor finish. And, uh, yeah, Cameron McAllister is really... <coughs> and what should I do? Encourage. I'm going to try to encourage him because he's really playing bad today. And we are, the entire team is playing bad, so there's not that much I can do. And, uh, yeah. Can we get this thing on the right track or are we bound to continue to play this bad against Manchester United as well in the next game in the Carabao Cup and see 
where we end up there. Sheffield United with the ball. Well, we will get, if no injuries happens, we will get back a couple of players in the next game. I think uh, we'll have Pena as a right back and Bionis as a left back. I will try to have um, Erazzi and uh, Rodwell Grant as the mid defenders. And in the midfield, uh, Bonafasi, Dominic Novak, and Tanju, and uh, of course, Martin Turney on the left. So, a couple of changes will happen for the next uh, game, and um, I'll just see you there. And so, we're here Caraba Cup game, blood, boys and girls. Unfortunately, one of our star players did not make it to today. It's the Landy uh, Bonifasi. He is out with a cold. So, uh, yeah. Ain't that typical. So, Jackson Jones is going to have to continue to play there. But we are going to get the rest of the players back on the pitch now Nesit still injured so let's keep him off let's see where's tanju where did i put this tanju senjin uh yeah we want message there and of course we want him in and we want lukic in and of course Diego Briones. I think we have the best players on the pitch now. Uh, yeah, except for Esteban Bonifasi then. And we need to change him off. And who do we put in then? Oh, that was a tough one. I think we're going to go with Ronnie Edwards. So um, did, this is the team that will play... And look at that. We were hoping for Bonifaci to play today. So we did play Jackson Jones the entire last game. And of course, today he's really tired. And yeah, we have Fisher we can bring in. But uh, I don't think he's even as good as uh, Jackson Jones. So we are in a bit of a trouble there. Uh, let's see what we can do against Manchester United here. Uh, we're going to have a look. But I don't want to change that. So we're going to have a look in the game to see if we're going to be changing um, the pressure and the the line where we will have the defensive line and the and the offensive and the defensive line. Pump our fist to go with the assistance recommendation. There we go. And we're going to kick off and skip. It looked like they pretty much had the same of the best. Let's lower this, shall we? And we, of course, lower that much lower. Just to see if we can handle the pressure from Manchester United better in that way. I don't know, but uh, yeah. Here's Pena. Shoots. Ooh. Well, well, well. We created a chance. I think I'm going to encourage the team. Ball just... Oh, it's a free kick for them. Fitzpatrick. 1-0. Mikey Fitzpatrick makes it 1-0 for Manchester United. We can't do anything there. Well, maybe we should have put our effort into the... Um, Sheffield United game instead and uh, let the reserve players play today. I don't know. Pena? No. Novak? Uh, come on. What's going on? Silva? Harkin saving at least. Well, we haven't started good, that's for sure. 
already let a goal in and everything. And United are, of course, the better team. But, uh, yeah, we should at least try to stand up against them and make a decent game. Oh, look at that. We're lucky it wasn't a penalty, though. It's a corner and headed over. And now I can tell them to focus. Come on, lads. Can't we do anything? It's typical that, that uh, Bonifaci should go out with a cold just for this game. I mean, if there's any game I would need him, it was this game, of course. And then he ends up with a cold. Oh, well. The next game is a Premier League game against Liverpool, so uh, that's going to be tough. And Dane, Dane Scarlett, a youth player, was a youth player from, from Tottenham. I know that in real life he plays in Tottenham at the moment. I, I believe, if he's still there, the latest... Um, Football manager, he still was a youth player in Tottenham, so yeah. Come on, Novak, Tony. We're not going to turn this around, that's for sure. Pena, and uh, we're going out of the cup, lads. Boys and girls, this is the last game we play in the Carabao Cup this season. 3-0. And there ain't much I can do. And Jackson Jones is really tired. He's going to come off at halftime. And the only player we can put in there is... Uh, Jake Fisher. A player that we most likely will try to sell in the summer. Uh, he's only a reserve. And he's not a good one. I was hoping he would develop. Oh, look at that. We bring one back. Andrea Lukic. And it's 3-1 for Manchester United here. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Look at the pass from Oscar Thorne. That was a something special. But here comes United again. Come on. Is there anything? Berate. I don't want to criticize them. Praise. I don't want to do that. Demand more. No pressure. Fire up. We can fire them up this time. Or we'll try to. Tanju. Ah, uh, bad pass from Tanju. Come on. Get the ball. No. No. Maybe we should step up again with our with our lines because that's not working. Um, I think that was a stupid mistake to make. So let's let's Push them up again a bit and see if we can get anything out of this game. Because we are playing like crap today. Bastoni. Piero Santo. Piero Santo. Fitzpatrick. Scarlett. And Scarlett goes all the way there. Surpass every single defender. I think he went by two or three defenders in there. And, uh, yeah. Good dribbling skills, it looked like. Look at this. There's one. I only surpassed one. But, uh, yeah. Oh, well. Dang it. Pena to Lukic. To Jones. Jackson Jones, so tired, so tired. Still creates that opportunity. That wasn't too bad. Uh, 
But uh, yeah, we can't. We're, we're not going to be able to turn this around. And we have no players to uh, to turn it to, to to improve it on the pitch. We are going to take out Jackson Jones because he, he is way too tired to play. So Jake Fisher comes in. I mean could be if does he have the possibility to play on the right is Lukic ah oh, come on how about Andrea Lukic can play as a right midfielder well he can play on the right then this is going to happen you didn't get many minutes but um yeah and he needs to come up up a bit there and uh, what's his best position there is that now uh, he can play as a winger there then then we go like this wasn't many minutes for fisher oh look at that oh kiss me we are getting demolished by manchester united here in the cup it's um, a sad, sad part here. We don't stand a chance. I don't understand how we could get 1-1 against Manchester United. We can't even keep, a, keep anything off them in this one. And I think we're going to have one more change. And um, then it's over. He was just playing like crap, Novak, so Message will come in and see if he can do anything in this game. Um, yeah. It was a bit crappy, this. We're, off, we're out of that cup. Well, we did get to the quarterfinals. I, I, I am somewhat pleased with that. Um, should give us some reputation. But not much. Here comes Scarlet. And oh, Rodwell Grant stealing that ball. Clean enough to not get a penalty. That's good. Here's Steve Clay. Gets it to Oscar Thorne. Oscar Thorne brings one back. We get another consolation goal. But uh, we can't. We cannot. Uh, do three more goals in 15 minutes that's impossible especially against a team like Manchester United that are so much better than we are so yeah we're just gonna have to accept this lost but if we can clean up the numbers that would be great but it doesn't look like it here comes Scarlett and he just run through us Holy smokes. Player instructions. Uh, let's make him mark Scarlet. <clears throat> this is a boring uh, game to play. You will, I mean get completely played off the pitch is of course incredibly boring and uh, incredibly sad to see and it's nothing is fun playing these games so a big loss 6-2 and we have one more game to play today and uh, that most likely will be a loss as well because it's uh, Liverpool who are third in the league so uh, i guess i'll just see you there and so we're here last game of this episode home to liverpool will we stand even the slightest of chance in this game i don't know we're just gonna have to see what happens um bonifazi is back so i guess he's gonna take fisher's place or, yeah, he will be put in into the first team, of course, but um, Jackson Jones will take Jake Fisher's place there. 
and uh, yeah, I don't think there's much more we can do. I mean, um, you can see that Tanju and Tony are very tired, and I have nobody to put in for Tony. Fisher has proven time and time again he's no good um, in this division. Um, he's out of his league here, so I don't feel that I have much of a choice, but to... Um, you know what? We have a little choice here. We're going to put in Quantino de Rosa because I have a little plan when it comes to that. We can actually put in de Rosa as a left defender and put Diego, Diego Briones up as a left midfielder. We can see he can play in a lot of places in that left side. So yeah that's what we're gonna do if um we need to take out tourney and then we have a message to be able to take out if uh, tanju gets too tired and uh, the rest of the team is looking fit enough to play so um yeah sorry a bit tired today as well uh so let's just jump into it and uh, see what we can do today Liverpool of all teams. Uh, it's going to be a really tough game. Um, we're going to struggle in this game. It's home turf though. So um, we get to play. And we have nothing to lose in this game. So let's hope we can do something about our... Um, about this episode, I should say. Because... If we lose this game as well, we would have we will have three losses in this episode, and that's not fun at all. Um, I should have put the best players in in the Sheffield United games, but that's easy to say now. Um, yeah, we wanted to give it a chance against United in the Carabao Cup, of course, and uh, I don't even I don't believe that there would be. A slight chance for us, uh, even if um, Bonifaci would have been um, healthy and played for us. I still very much believe we would have been played out of the park against United in that game as well. So, uh, yeah. And uh, we're keeping up with Liverpool a bit here. Maybe even create a chance. Yes, we could, but... Uh, Peter in goal save that without any problems. Uh, not a very good shot, I, I, I could say. So um, yeah, goalless after twenty minutes. That's um, uh, that's something good at least. Some something to take with us. But uh, here United. You know, Liverpool comes, and good save by Harkin. Let's hope that he has a wall mentality today and keeps a clean sheet. That would be nice. Uh, I guess getting a draw in this game would be super nice. Um, partly because we could help Manchester United in their struggle to get the league title again, and partly because... We would like to, um, of course, oh, look at this. They are playing us out of the park here, but whew, he misses the goal there at the very last touch. Now it would help us as well, of course, we, we're we getting a point. Uh, we need all the points we can get. Um, if we are a bit lucky, we might be climbing up and, and trying to get that seventh position. But of course, our main goal is just to avoid going out of this division. We know that we are nowhere near fighting for any of those top positions uh, yet. But of course, the higher we get, the more money we get from the uh, prize money. And uh, prize money would be nice. And there's Oscar Thorne making it 1-0 against Liverpool. In the 36th minute, we make it 1-0. Thank you. 
and I don't know how to compute this in my brain getting totally demolished by Manchester United just to go to the very next game and play pretty even against Liverpool so far it's only been 38 minutes but they haven't played us out of the park like United did so um, yeah oh, look at this Bonifaci to Thorn or oh, Lukic Tanju out to Briones Briones oh he couldn't go past but Turney picks it up oh no Welling player where he puts the ball that's for sure here comes Liverpool Ooh, thank you misses the goal still 1-0 for us then Harkin hoisting it up towards Bonifaci didn't get it but Novak did Ah, uh, tries to reach Turney there. Gets to him eventually. Here's Bonifazzi. 2-0! Two 2-0 nil. Two nil for Welling! That's impressive. That's the, the, the least I can say about this game so far. We, we, we managed to put the balls that we have been given, the opportunity that we have been given in this game, we have been able to put them away. How incredible isn't that? And uh, I'm just waiting for... for um... Oh, that wasn't nice. I was just waiting for that goal from Liverpool. That was uh, what I was going to say. And there it came. It, it's just like... Maybe they've rested some players today. Martin Turney has picked up a knock. So, um, uh, there it's all over. And, um, no, it's Bonifaci that's picked up a knock. Oh, we're gonna have to do, uh, I'm gonna wait for the half to be over. Now the half is over. Now we're going to go in here. And um, potential knee injury. That's not good. Martin Turney is going to be coming off as well. And uh, yeah, let's see what we can do. Unfortunately, we... we Taking the lead with 2 0 was a, a big thing, but uh, Liverpool is the better team, and uh, eh, it's a it's a pretty pretty uh, done deal that they should come back, and um, they have done it as well. Now we need to find ourselves again and try to do something about it. And uh, Sejin needs to come off as well. So I don't really know what to do now. But um, Jones, Lukic shoots from there. That's not good. So there won't be any minutes from uh, Steve Clay this time because um, yeah, we have no more substitution to give. And of course, Lukic yeah, gets really tired after that. Novak is tired. Everybody is tired now. And um, I, I'm just waiting for Liverpool to score that 3-2 goals. <clears throat> it's a bit sad that we lose a 2-0 lead and um, they turn it around here I don't know what to say um, it, it's depressing we, we were 2-0 up played really well and then Everything just went south. And uh, there aren't much we can do about it. We don't have the players to be able to... Oh, and Penna gets injured. 
Oh no, potential knee injury. And uh, yeah, we're going to have to play with one player less against Liverpool. And it's a defensive player as well. Oh well. Here they come again. Oscar Form putting it to Lukic. They're going to steal it from him. Yep. Yeah. No problem for Liverpool here today to turn this around. It did go too easily. It felt too easily when when we took the lead with 2-0. It it just um it wasn't easy for us to go 2-0 up. It was the 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 way they came back Liverpool and uh just demolished us after that 2-0 goal. Um Two quick goals before the half time, and then they've played so much better than us in the second half here. And um, yeah, three straight losses here in this in today's episode. What a disappointment! And uh, yeah, well, it's the way it is sometimes. Oh, look at that, especially for a mid. Uh, mid-table team like we are we are not supposed to be fighting against them not yet anyway i'm trying to build up a team that can f fight against them but um yeah i don't think we'll get there in in the near future it will maybe in um three four seasons we might be getting close to the european competitions and i'm not my and i'm, I'm not talking about uh, three four years in real life but um, three four seasons in the game uh, maybe then if i if i have some bit of luck and some bit of skills uh, finding the right players and everything i think we can close in on those um, european positions but as it is right now uh, we are far from it um so uh, yeah it will be interesting to see how long of an injury pen i will be out with now um not a funny thing to see but uh, yeah we're just gonna have to um yeah and Quinn carlos pena and bonafasi is um yeah youthful you well in united came on stock uh chris proser put in a solid pot didn't play well Barberini didn't play well. Quiet game. Show some glimpse quality, but he was never. And he's out for seven weeks. Now that's a major blow for us. We're gonna have to talk to him. Put his put my arm. Don't worry about your injury. He will be back in the team. He's only 19, so after those seven weeks, he will be back. He will be out for six days. That's not so dangerous, but he will miss the next game. And um, put in a good performance there from him. McHarry, quiet game. Um, in Preston. Yeah, a couple of players here. Tanju and Dominic Novak is being feeling a bit jaded. Um, he wants improved deal for Oscar Thorne. I'm going to tell him to sack the manager. Yeah, he did sack him. I don't think you should be asking for a contract right now, but I'm, I'm, I'm not sure that the that will end his demand for a new contract. But all right, slams the team. Yes, I did. Yeah, he leaves and he signs for Che Naylor. Yeah, we don't know who he has in his stable. Listed by request. Uh, these are the players. Uh, let's see, he's got a Manchester United player there in Marcus Rashford. 
Um, there should be a Welling United at the bottom there. No, I thought there was going to be some colorization when it came to our club, but there wasn't. But he, he is the only player from our club to have that agent. Now let's look at the finances. 97 mil millions. Now we have gone a lot in this episode, in this month so far. 3.6, but um, of course, uh, let's go into club vision here. I have gotten the okay to improve youth facilities and to increase, increase youth level. So I think this youth level is uh, went from category 2 to category 1, and I guess that's a good thing. And... Uh, Improved youth facilities will also help us get new and better youth players, I'm hoping. Let's go into the dev center here because we do have our first validation of youth candidates. And um, at least one of our fullbacks has plenty of promises. That looks interesting. There is a minimum of two center backs that looks rather promising. Also very interesting. In terms of winger, there are two very handy prospects. Um, yeah, we have one good young English central defender from South Wark who has caught the eye. Let's hope that's a really good one. This is a terrific group of players coming through and has the potential to be a real golden generation of the club. Oh, I've, I don't think I've ever read that. Well, that would be that will be interesting, and I've already decided. I've, I, I guess I've said this before in in an episode before that I've already decided I will try to sign every youth candidate this year because I want to put together so that the under eighteen under eighteen has a full group of players so that there won't be any problems um, getting enough players to, to get the, play the games in, in the under-18. So no matter how crappy I feel they are, I feel that I will try to sign them all. They are the cheapest way, of course. They don't cost as much when they, when they get a youngster's um, contract. So club info. Let's go into the facilities. Um, youth has superb youth facilities, so that will go up. Youth levels, it says two here, but I think that's the, the category, and, and that will change to one once that, um, when will that be increased youth level? Yeah, in the summer, uh, that will go up to level one. Let's see, competition, and, um, we're 11th in the league. We are uh, seven points ahead of Blackburn down there. We are actually seven points away from Norwich as well. So struggling there to get up. We are how we're going to face MK Dons in the in the FA Cup on the fourth of January. And, of course, we were knocked out in the quarterfinal by Manchester United in the Carabao Cup. Schedule. Next episode will be Manchester City away, Tottenham away, and Brighton away. I don't know how it, go how's it, how it, going, for, how it is going for Brighton this season. I'm going to have a look at that before we do anything else. But I do know City, Tottenham are top teams which are going to be very, very hard to beat, of course. Brighton are just below us on the same points as us, so it's going to be a, a tough episode next one. We might be going off with three losses there as well. And after that, we're going to have, in the episode after that, we're going to have the FA Cup game, and then we're going to play Southampton and then Chelsea. So an interesting... Interesting couple of uh, weeks ahead, or a couple of episodes ahead in this one. Uh, Juan Carlos Pena, of course, seven weeks off with him is uh, not very good, but yeah, we're just going to have to take it. And um, yeah, 
Even though we lost all three games, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Do like, subscribe, and uh, leave a little comment down below. Tell your friends about the channel, and maybe even share on your social media. Uh, stay safe out there, have heaps of fun, and I'll just end with bye-bye-bye-bye. Boot up that PC, my heart's in a quake Sweaty palms gripped in the mouse like a snake Buttons mashed without a clue In this pixel world, I'm gaming like a noob